channel Venkatesh Devanur here from Agri Life India. Now we are talking today on a very novel product from nanotechnology process for plant nutrition. Phosphorus, as you know, is a very important resource for the plant. It's a very major nutrient for the plant. Phosphorus cannot be produced in a factory. Phosphorus is always a mined item, like a mineral. This mining resource is processed to make an agricultural input, maybe as a single superphosphate, diammonium phosphate, or any other phosphatic fertilizer. But as experts have been debating, we are going to reach a phosphorus peaking in the next 30 to 35 years. What is phosphorus peaking? The quantum of phosphorus we take out would be almost equal to phosphorus consumption during the year. That means it will be consumption and mining production will be almost equal. But being a high volume commodity product, if there is a small demand and supply gap, you know the price elasticity is very high and the price can be enormously increased. And a resource which is not available to make in a factory, we have a responsibility of sustainability objective to use them most judiciously. So phosphorus, when applied to soil, gets fixed and becomes unavailable. A lot of phosphorus gets leached out in the water and goes to ocean. Farms, algae and varieties of weeds are produced. We have one side a resource, a dying resource. Another side we are wasting it considerably. How do we address this? Nanotechnology has a very unique solution. The particle sizes are cut down to less than 100 nanometer thereby the effective working increases manifold actually. So how do we produce the phosphorus from any form of a salt or acid is taken out as an element and then by using reduction chemistry we reduce the particle size to less than 100 nanometer. This nano product of phosphorus is called nanophos, I mean nanophosphorus. Nanophosphorus thus is a very extremely small dose product and this can replace conventional phosphorus by application of a matching quantity because suppose we are using 50 kilograms of phosphorus. 50 kilograms of phosphorus probably can be replaced by 5 liters of nanophos. Thus, the quantum of this 5 liter will only have 0.1 gram of phosphorus. Point what is that is 0.1 in 100 ppm. And if we reduce it kindly to something like 5 liter, it's a fraction of the quantum we are using compared to the conventional phosphatic fertilizer. Therefore, the resource which is very you know what we call dying resource, which is not used judiciously, can be very judiciously used by this as a process by this nanotechnology. We call it nanophos. Nanophos is compatible with all fertilizers which we use in a drip irrigation. It is a liquid product, can be sprayed on the plant, can be given as a drip feeding also. It's compatible with all other soluble fertilizers, soluble pesticides with any biological pesticide, biofertilizer, biostimulant, chemical pesticide, chemical fertilizer. Thus the product has a very unique compatibility. It has shelf life of over two years under ambient storage conditions. Therefore, it's a versatile product which can be used in any crop on any stage. Right from beginning, we recommend the basal dose. Continue with applications once in three weeks and a dose of 5 litre per hectare. This can be moderated based on the potency of the product, based on the information on the label. Being a 
a very unique technology product which can offer sustainability of the resource of phosphorus and uh, this is a important for future to save our environment let us adopt the technology of nanotechnology and this nanofos for agriculture thank you